Hi, it's John Wanoa here. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, the 1st of November 2016, the month that the US um, ship, nuclear ship, is visiting Auckland. And uh, <coughs> we will issue them with a notice to the high British High Commission that under no circumstances that the British, uh, the US uh, financial markets, martial law or any martial laws will be enforced in New Zealand by Obama and John Key for their TPPA. That's my subject this week with the chief uh, up in Hokianga. I'll be calling today, and also the chief in Whakatohea in Apotiki for Matatua Waka. I'll be calling right now. Okay, to just tell him I'm coming down to give a presentation down there, down in Bad Plenty, uh, Apotiki, uh, Whakatohea chiefs. And also up the north in Rafui land, uh, uh, Hokianga, the Whakamenia. All right, so that's what's going down this week. I have to prepare letters for all of that and uh, uh, to the uh, Secretary of Defense in Britain, warning them that we are very serious about fraud and Hillary corruption Obama getting caught now. Come on, Jim. Morning, Jim. John, one more here. All right, good, good. Oh, uh, when is your next meeting, dear? Because I'll come down and, and do a presentation. I'm going up to Hokianga. Uh, with with uh, they asked me to go up there and put a presentation on because they're starting to get it now. So if you know, I don't mind coming there. And with yeah, yeah, just at your normal meetings. You let me know, then I can come and do a presentation there for them, so that you have you have a. a something to go up to Waitangi. I'm, I'm just getting something together for that warship coming into Auckland, the, the, the uh, nuclear ship. This month. I, I, I forget which day. The, 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 the day of the um, uh, military here, Navy. Uh, yeah, well, if you do, then... then I'm going to draft a letter to the British High Commission, the same as what I did at, for Waitangi up there we, when we didn't go through the gate. Uh, so I just put a complaint into the British High Commission, commission that they're preventing the chief from going to the, the uh, uh, flag staff. And so they're interfering with us, uh, the John Key. So what, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is draft a letter, um, 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 official letter from the, the chiefs, uh, to uh, forbid uh, the U.S. federal state and Obama from uh, enforcing their, their martial law here. Okay, so that's, that's serious. That's what they're coming here for, to take us out and, and, and put their, uh, uh, their U United Nations force here. Hey. Eh? Yeah, no, no, you, if you're coming up to protest, then I'll, I'll make sure we can sit down together somewhere, uh, some, somewhere and, and go over this thing. But I'll send you the things first, uh, the, the lead draft letter complaint uh, about um, uh, the ship will still come in because John Key's already set it up, but they're running their racket here. And, and, and so the only way is to put them on notice so, so that we got something that, that, that is a complaint to the British 
military uh, uh, in, in, before Waitangi Day. So uh, when, when the Waitangi Day comes around, then we can deal with what we were trying to do uh, on the 28th on the Marae, and then the place will be open then, all right? Uh, so long as they know. Um, uh, and I, I put the video on of me talking in, in Titi, but I've blocked out half of it, uh, of those ones that didn't want to go on Facebook, all right? And so we've got something to go on, so we, we, we can stick that to them, all right? Yeah, so, but I'm going to go up to Hokianga um, uh, and put on a, another presentation uh, because that's all those people are starting to wake up now. The only, the only followers that know what's going on is me and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That, that's about all I, all the rest is, is, is fluffy stuff around that, that hasn't got the idea about why, why the flag is there for. It's there, it's there, it's it's there for what we know, to, to, for them to use uh, for, for making money out of. I'm uh, just waiting for Willie Peter to, to give me a call back from uh, uh, Pangaru. Uh, the, 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 uh? Okay, okay, that, that'll be good. Shit, that'll be good because that way you 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 you're right right in the right place to do the the the, uh, the issue with the flag, and and those fellows will, will, will be all prepared in their head that we're going to terminate the lease occupation lease, and and they'll all wait for John Key to come in and then serve it on him there right then and there. You see that that way. Yeah. Yeah, they'll just uh, hop on the Manabas. It's cheaper. Just hop on the Manabas and get on the, off in Manukau and, and then I'll pick you up. And and stay here and stay here overnight and go back the next day. Eh? And stay here and go back the next day. On the Manabas, it's cheaper. It's only 40 bucks or 30 bucks to come up. Oh, they can bring you up. They, they can bring you up, yeah. Yeah, they, they can bring you up so you can get back. Okay. I, I'll, I'm just doing all the paper uh, documents up for that ship now. And then I'll flick them off to you when I finish with it. Uh, in preparation for going up to... Um, that, that's our main thing is TPPA and, and the ship. Okay? And before Waitangi... We, we've got to do that before the elections in, in the US. We've got to put them on notice before the elections come out so that we've got everything ready ready to go. Okay? That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll give you a, I'll give you a day's warning or so. Okay, okay. Bye. <clears throat> there, that's uh, the chief himself from Whakatoa here in the Bay of Plenty. Uh, Jim week or two. He's very good. Uh, he knows this flag upside down. That's why he put it upside down. Now I tell him to put it up the right way. The right way. Up. We're, we're not in distress anymore. We've sorted it out. We've, we've got it all sussed. Um, so uh, I'll just ring Willie Pater, the other chief, you see. I'll just check with the other chief. Who, who, I'll just see who, who messaged me. the other chief, the two chiefs that I have confidence in. Well, he's up at Otawa Marae in Hokianga. Just back before Rawini. Go up through Terry Terry. Oh. Through Kawakawa. 
Hi, uh, well it is John Wanoa here. Um, I've just been talking to uh, a Jim Week or two. He's, he's a whakato here, uh, chief uh, in Potiki. And um, uh, he'll come up with me up to your your hui there. Uh, where is it? Pangaru, we've got to go across the ferry. I think that's what it is. And um, so, uh, uh, yeah, he's the one that put the flag up on the, on the treaty ground and up Kororareka. So he's up to the minute on it. So he can uh, 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 fit in with the whakamininga and, and what we're, we're, we're going to do. The main thing at the moment, I'm drafting a letter up, uh, a complaint to the British High Commission for the, the Navy ship, uh, the US uh, nuclear ship coming into Auckland with the martial law through the back door. So I'm going to, uh, and, and, and I'm going to draft the letter, I'll send it to you, and um, uh, put them on notice. Uh, it's forbidden to, to uh, enforce their martial law on, on this country, right, from the chiefs. So I've got, I got to watch these things. These are the things I was wanting to talk about at uh, Waitangi. But uh, uh, nobody was on that uh, mindset, okay? So, uh, uh, yeah, so he'll come up to Auckland and come up with me, okay? Uh, Jim Week or two. Okay, that's all. I'll catch you later. Bye. Or just give me a ring if you want to. Bye. That's, you know, I tell the whole world what's going on. Uh, but uh, the chief said to me, don't tell too much. The parts that I won't tell too much about is how the Manukau title was put together and the Confederation uh, documents with the seal of the Confederation on it. Now, that seal was put together by Mo Mohi Manukau, and those are the documents that um, Mighty Tahere is, is, is uh, sporting at the, at the, uh, the Declaration of Independence Day, 28th of October, at Te Chi Marae. So, <clears throat> uh, seeing that those are the papers I'm familiar with and I was going to the meetings with, uh, that, is, uh, that is original as much as what Sue Nikora's is, but with Sue Nikora, um, she still uh, wants to go ahead without consulting anyone, really, but just making proclamations about what she does with or without the whakamininga. She says she is the whakamininga. In a way, what the whakamininga is, is male chiefs that sat under the Pohutukawa tree at Tingairi, uh, in the uh, um, Rehia Hapu Len up in Kororareka, up that way, up, up in, uh, up in uh, uh, that, that area, that the chiefs from the eight tribes and the northern tribes sat under the tree. And it was them that put that together. It wasn't a woman was those chiefs because they were in war mode. All the women were at home looking after the fires and, and, and the marae. They, they're the boss of the marae, the women. They're the ones that cut uh, strangers onto the marais. They're not the ones sitting on the popo, pai pai, making the orders. It's the chiefs, the rangatira. Okay? So the rangatira is what's on the documents uh, uh, as being uh, the legal landlords of the land that the ship is stuck on. So I'm go only going on the ship of Admiralty and its captain that said and proclaimed the land belonged to the king. I'm just saying, I made a proclamation saying the chief owns the land, not the king or the queen. So that's a different proclamation to Sue. Sue is saying, boom, right across the whole lot of everything from a confederation that's dead and gone. And there's new people now sitting there forming themselves into another whakamininga from their old one, and it had to be male. You can't have a woman chief running the males with the guns in their hand at that time. It was the men that was fighting. That, that flag that was given to them was a fighting flag. It was a pirate flag given to things because it was already designed in the first place for what it meant in war times 
to conquer land. It's a king's conquer land flag for pirates who get in the road, right, between trading goods and services and resources from the native's land to Britain. That's what it was, Britain and the native, sitting under the tree. Right? Native, the, the white man, Barkers, was sitting at, uh, on, on, on the land and occupied it with their ship of Admiralty and all their natives, uh, uh, British uh, uh, immigrants, who said they got the, the certificate of title for the land. And the chief said, no, that doesn't apply to us. That's not ours. And so they took the flag staff of the ship off, 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 the, off the boat and told them to bugger off, get off our land. And so the document was forced law that said, it says on there, the land belongs to the king. And so this is, this, this was preset with the two chiefs, Te Roa Ikato, Wharaherehere, Manakao, and Hongiheka. They are the two, in 1820, well before the 1840 Treaty or the 1835 Declaration on Independence, uh, Gazette in Australia, New South Wales. This is, the British came here as soon as they hopped off their ship on the 20th of March, 1834, that established the first British title, sale and purchase, of Crown property, right? The Crown bought it, the King, not an individual or an immigrant. It was the Crown had the Crown stamp on it and the King's seal on it to say that that's the purchase of the land, the Crown grant land. They made with the chief, those two chiefs in England. They've been there over 10 years, so they knew what, what the document was going to do. Conquer the land, uh, the, all, 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 all uh, Hongi Hika wanted was to conquer the whole country and, and, and put it subject to him. But that's what he did. He just got the muskets and, and, and gunpowder. But the other guy, Te Rawakato Wharahirehere, had the brains to make the money out of it with the power note. And, 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 and legislative acts of Westminster Parliament and instruments of uh, certificates of titles. So there's a different, different scenario. The Manukau uh, chief held the legal documents that converted the, the, the conquered land into, into cash, right? For the, for the king and for him. You see? So that's the thing that Manukau was trying to put together with these documents that um, Waititahi was doing, sporting around in Titi Marae on the 28th and the 27th. Evil. See? It, says, it says here, Te Whakaputanga o Te Tino Rangateratanga o Ngā Hapu o Aotearoa established 1835. You see, the sovereign government of Aotearoa progress of legislation. So these are more in line with Mohi Manukau's seal, right? The, 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 he was the first president of, of, of this organisation, there's his signature there. Now, I go on that, I, I go on this, because he was the president before Del Wihongi. I was in those meetings when this seal of the Confederation was legal then, it's still legal now. Okay, so I just want to let you fellas know that these documents that Tahir is, is holding is live. Soon the chorus is live too. So the, these are in John Key's court in Titi Marae. They don't go across the other side into Waitangi Marae where we're going with the Whakaminia, the real first Whakaminia. This is the second mortgage, Whakaminia. The other one's the first one, right? The one at Kororareka was only those few chiefs, 38 of them, that the first 1834 part of the flag together. As soon as they picked the design, they didn't design those stars, those belonged to the to the uh, British. The St. Patrick's Order, eight point star. So the, 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 the women have their interpretation, like Paulina, um, Samoan, and her uh, married husband. She's on the lands uh, at right where that uh, port car tree is. She's on the lands. She has to be right to be speaking and put her interpretation of that flag as her own picture of the Pacific. She can, she, she's quite welcome to do that. 
But when you come to the other side of the flag, I just want to acknowledge her, that's all, and all those other spiritual women uh, from down in uh, the Bay of Plenty, from uh, 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 Matatu, Waka. Uh, they've got their spiritual women down there in Tauranga too, because I know them from way back. I know, the, I know those women. They, they, they know my face, but they didn't realise I was doing all this stuff under this seal, right? This seal and the 20 flags that me and Mohi Mankel sent to uh, um, Prince Peter in Malta because they were, at the time, uh, being run over by the Vatican. And the Vatican more than likely snapped these 20 flags off Malta because they seized everything from Malta. And uh, also the Queen was um, tied in with the Malta as well. So this uh, sovereign government is another way of saying uh, that it's got the word Maori taken out of it. Whereas Sue's got Maori government. When you when you put, I, I want to, when you put the word Maori there, the copyright and patents belong to the Crown Corporation, New South Wales government and New Zealand company. They put that together. They made the Maori land court, Maori tribunal, Maori FOMA, Federation of Maori Authorities, that's all Crown stuff. The Iwi Maori organisations, all the Iwi Maori, those are all Crown Corporation belong to the Crown on, in Wellington, uh, John Key government. Right? It's, a, it's got nothing to do with this. This, by saying the sovereign government of Aotearoa, it doesn't put the word Maori in there, you see? So you have to be very careful what documents you use. And her Maori government, unfortunately, takes second place to this. That's my books and Mohi's books. And I'm taking taking stock of Mohi Manukau's title until the Manukau's stand in front of me with their own hui, and I tell them their place. It's not my place. I'm there to make sure everything goes straight. Right? I'm there to adjudicate as a sheriff and judge of who's who and in this whole... Uh, commercial uh, contract, private contract business. Okay? So we got those two chiefs, remember that. Tira Waikato Wharaherehere Manukau in Mangatauturi, Cambridge. From Cambridge in New Zealand to Cambridge uh, in England, Cambridge University, these two chiefs, Tira Waikato Wharaherehere, and um, what's his name? I went to Cambridge University. Here's, here's Willie. Hello, Willie. Hello. Hi. Um, uh, yeah, I've just been talking to, to um, uh, what's his name, Jim, a week or two. You know him? Hey. Yeah, so he's all geared up uh, for, for, for things now with you up there to take care of the flag raising issues in the Navy. Okay. No, he'll do it. He'll, 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 he's, he'll do that part from Matatua uh, at raising the flag uh, with his ne uh, uh, cousin, that's an ex Navy Komatua that took John Key onto, into the Marae on, on Waitangi Day this year. And he unlocked the padlock on, on the flag stuff and put the flag upside down. Right? Now, now he can raise it and put it up the right way. But I'm drafting the papers now, the, the legal papers, to uh, make sure the flag goes up to stay up, right? Okay. Those are the things I was going to talk about at, at uh, Titi when I, but uh, I got inter interrupted by, by Hoepa, although he's done a very good job, but he just said to me, have you got permission to film in here? So, so... Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm relying on you at, uh, as, as being neutral in, in a lot of things that, that um, uh, Hohepa can necessarily bully his way over the top of everybody like he does to me. He's got me writing up stuff for him now of, of what happened at, at Waitangi uh, uh, to write it up for him. But um, I'm, I, I'm doing it for him this time, but not all the time. You see? Because Patrick... Uh, uh, knows what I was talking about, and, and most of them got what I was talking about. Uh, so Jim is a, is a long-time stalwart of this flag, 
uh, the confederation part. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, he's a he's a straight up fella, and, and he 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 knows what to say, and, and it's just about what what we we want our land back, and that's the way to do it. You want the land back. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's why he's coming up, because he's. He, uh, well, when you have your hui there, he'll come up. He, he'll come up uh, when you have your hui. And so he's got the mandate from his matatua uh, uh, area and, um, and uh, whakatō here uh, to, to go up there with a mandate from all of them and do all the talking for the flag part, at least. Uh, you, you know, uh, because they're flying the flag, everybody that flies the flag is there for one reason or another. Even like me from Nazi Pro, I'm still uh, holding the flag uh, for what it, for what it is. Uh, so he'll come up, and then he 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 will uh, at least face to face there with you and all the other ones. Um, um, uh, prepare for for the flag raising, so that it's Ngapui. At the end of the day, it's Ngapui's land where where the flag is. Okay, that that's the way I look at it. It's, it's Ngapui's land. And it's for Napui to talk, but for Jim to raise the flag on behalf of the Napui as a chief, uh, 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 pushing the same issue. They want their land back the same uh, same as you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it it you know at the uh, at Titi they got what I was saying. They, they got what, what, where this was all leading to, right? And that's the only, that's what, that the only way to sit down and let the, the tomata know so that they're prepared and they know what's coming up and they got control of it. They've got control of it, not me. Not, not Jim. He, Jim. Jim is the flag bearer. Yeah. And, and, and still, we're going on the Kororareka one, the 1834 part of the flag, not the 1835. You see, he knows that too. That's why he goes and hangs around Kororareka, because he knows that's the first title straight to Britain before that flag got gazetted in Australia. So the, the 1835 was when all the rest of the tribes around the country came in, but the 38 chiefs from Ngāpui and the northern region that was Kororareka, first uh, first arrival of, of, of the British, and they set up the parliament there, there, right? They set up the British government there, and that was that's where everything became legal for that flag, right there before the, before it got gazetted in 1835. So that's what he knows. He knows all of that stuff. And and for the Tomata, they, they need to know this that these old guys knew. And the guys that were in the Confederation all the time, like me, I've been you know, a long time. Uh, so, you know, uh, um, um, Ohepa is all right, but um, he cuts in and, and stops people from talking. And, and, I, and I didn't get to do my presentation. I didn't get to finish it off. I had to skip through it fast because he said, you only got one more minute left. Same thing, you see? That's why people don't get it, and that's why I got videos running so that they they know they can see what I was wanting to say, um, because it gets chopped out. Um, and so that's that's really what I am calling for. When when are you likely to have your hui? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's all right, as long as I know. What's that? Oh, 
are you? Yeah, yeah. When's your hui? Is it, is it in Tangaru or at Otawa? Oh, okay, okay. As long as I got an idea where. Yeah. So, so I know I, I don't have to catch a fairy. Okay. Yeah. No, that's all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where, so long as I know where, then I'll get there. Jim will come up with me. It doesn't. Oh, okay. So, so. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, so even Hohepa, he's gone away to Australia and to Hawaii. And yeah, so. Um, oh, okay. So, so um, um, you know, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just keep track with you while he's not there. And um, my main concern is the TPPA and that warship coming into Auckland from the, the United States this month. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're going to arrest Hillary now. Yeah, yeah. He'll dump her and, 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 uh, and John Key's a bit worried here. They're a bit worried about... Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's say like John Key. He wants TPPA, but if Trump gets in, John Key's in trouble. Yeah, so that's good to our advantage, but I'm watching the news all the time too, uh, online, uh, right up to the minute. But, um, but my con main concern is to, I'm writing to the British High Commission now to um, 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 put a block on, on, on um, the... Admiral, the, the martial law being uh, enforced here from that ship. The captain on the ship is always the one that, that, that does that. Uh, he can say that. Hello? Oh. Gone. Yeah. He cut out his driving, um, driving in out of range. Um, so that's all right. That's uh, Willie Peter. Just filling them in. Now I can see where they're going. I, I need to keep at least the public informed on some movements of what we do. I just want to make sure everything is transparent so that people up in the area know what's going on. The left right uh, foot knows what the right foot is doing amongst Maori. Otherwise, somebody keeps it to themselves. The next minute they have a, a hui, a meeting, and they start growling because you didn't tell us. He didn't tell us this, you know, so they watched the video, is what I'm saying. And um, uh, Willie's okay uh, about how I'm conducting myself. And the Tomata is um, all right about how I conduct myself with these videos. Um, so there'll be, I would have heard about a complaint now with the video I cut out half of them uh, from the last video I made. <coughs> so these are specifically. Uh, important issues when it comes to uh, administration of, of government and in particular what's happening in, in America and Britain with Brexit uh, in Britain and also with um, uh, Obama and Hillary Clinton running right running the biggest scam fraud corrupted government in the world uh, of politics as well and, and fraudulent misdealings and now the FBI has stepped in and reopened the case. The best thing that ever happened was to get some justice, otherwise there's no justice. Uh, there's no justice in America, it's all one way. With this King's Bench court law that the Queen is letting Obama run right with the um, um, authority to um, enforce martial law and financial martial law at the worst. And that means stick your, stick your hands up and give me your guns, 
although I will take everything. And that's what, that's force against the people of America, which is abhorrent to the King's Bench Court Law. Right? So we're expressing ourselves in that field of authority, uh, straight from Westminster, and the people watching from there, and also my friend in uh, California, uh, Daryl Payne, is taking a leaf out of his book uh, about how um, Admiralty works. And in these mortgage liens, that's all it is, mortgage lien over anything that the captain of the ship proclaims that belongs to the King of England, right? Not the Queen, the King of England. And then the Queen, because she's there and there's no King, she claims it as hers without doing any work. Right? The King did all the work, putting all these acts together to create this Admiralty Law as Admiralty, not Vice Admiral or the second in Commander in Chief Obama, using these Admiralty Law to force people off the land and then sell it to Russia, right? And the Bundy Farm. I'm going on about that one. Uh, and the same here with uh, Crater Farms, same force off the land. And put it on the market and sell it to someone else to make more money for themselves and the government and the private companies. You see? The same with the police, with me, getting in the road and making money out of my um, bail bond and cashing up with crooked documents that got me arrested. You see? I've still got to take them to court individually of causing injury to me personally. Right? That's, that's yet to come. And um, I spoke to the uh, Maori Federal Marshals, the US Federal Marshals, the Maoris, and I asked them, each one, do you, can you tell me how, what, 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 what made you get off your case? How did you manage to uh, get off your case of what happened in Cooksville? And they can't tell me. They just said that the case was dismissed. That's it. They, they can't say what act or what citation or whatever got them off. What, what, why, why did the judge dismiss them? He didn't just say, oh, you fellows look like you're good people and let you go. No, there was a legal reason, legitimate reason, of some higher power than the court had and the police had, especially the police, had lower authority than a king, uh, why they lost the case against me, you see? So I know why, why they got off, and I didn't get to get my court case. They let me out of the court and just took those guys in, and then lumped me in as if I'm one of them. I wasn't one of them. I went with a barrister. They didn't want a barrister. They wanted to represent themselves as sovereign. And the judge just threw all their papers out and locked them up, right? Uh, for uh, contempt of court. So they've got more uh, um, uh, charges against them than me from extra things that happened outside of being arrested on that property for trying to take it. Right? I gave them a contract to, to take it with, with the Moai uh, uh, execution writ warrant to seize the property. Now I'm going to use it because the police are out of the road now because they can't tamper with this information anymore because they've got no information. They've got no evidence to stack up against me and the eight-point star sheriff, you see? So now there's only the, the barristers and the lawyers and the judges in my room. They, they can't because they put the policemen in front of them to protect their backsides. Now now they're wide open in front of Moai and King William eight-point star, New World Order order over the top of their orders. Okay, so that's coming up. I've got a lot of work to do. If I had a staff to do it, they would be doing it now and putting it all together, but I've got to do that. And uh, this is just notice to uh, Whakameninga, uh, the original one at Kororareka, not the 1835, the 1834 Whakameninga, that Whakameninga. Okay, I'm saying to you that I'm putting an order together uh, for the chiefs, to uh, forbid uh, the U.S. Uh, warship, nuclear warship, from its captain and Obama um, orders of martial law 
and financial martial law enforced on this country while we're in control with this whakaminia that's formed now. It's legally formed. We've already opened up the Waitangi Marae on the uh, King's Bench Court on the 15th of April this year, 2016, as legalised the flag, legalised the power note levy data instrument against all the pirates and Fusa, and named and uh, legalised the Acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837 applies. Okay, those, those three things are the main things that we've legalised in that court ready to enforce on John Key and his government here and either extend their occupation land titles before they settle with Ngāpuri, Iwi, Māori, uh, treaty settlements. I'm going to issue the warning before then, again, and the H British High Commission here in Wellington, uh, I spoke to um, Louise Exley and told her that I've um, got a complaint coming in about the gate not being open for us, the chiefs, the partners to the British government and military and navy with that flag start pole on Kingi Tauru's Ngāti Rahiri, Ngāti Kawa land. Right? That's his land under these orders. So I'm putting an order together to uh, forbid the uh, US federal state government from enforcing their financial martial law and martial law in New Zealand over any bit of land here while that ship is here. John Key and his TPPA as well is forbidden to discuss any matters while we are going through the Whakamunina's paces to raise the flag. We intentionally raised the flag already on the 28th by default of the Navy not turning up to the 182 year celebration on those treaty grounds with us. Somehow or other, someone said don't open the gate. And that's the offence that I'm complaints I'm putting in. We had every legal reason to go there to celebrate their occupation of our land. It's up to them to say no, we didn't get the authority from you, we got it from somewhere else to be on these lands. They've come here because of this King William the Fourth flag jurisdiction of Admiralty. Morgan's lands. Okay? That's that's what I'm saying about getting that out before the US uh, elections for the president election and before that ship comes here. So the eighth is the elections and I'll make sure this is publicly notified. Uh, before the eight elections and the new president, uh, president is uh, elected. And I have a notice for Donald Trump, um, um, inevitable president of the United States of America, corporations under King William IV and King Ernest Augustus V, um, sovereign monarch jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law. Okay, we're expressing our partnership, private partnership with King William, uh, with his flag as our receipt of brand name and authority to lien mortgage over any country that have broken our land. Those 1830 to 1837 laws and the piracy laws apply. The Hanging and Chains Act applies, 1834. Everything in that period from 1830 to 1837, we are enforcing inside that marae um, already. It's, in, it's, it's, it's legal now for us to do that with the Chief King Itauru. Signature, you'll see on the documents, the proclamation I put together, uh, that's supposed to have been read on that, inside that marae. Uh, and I didn't read it out on the Titi marae because I was told them I'm going to read it out on the other marae, not this one. This is the 1835 Declaration of Independence marae where they gazetted that uh, part of the flag in Australia. When the British got here, the captain, Clendon, J.R. Clendon got here, he proclaimed the land belonged to uh, the King of England, 
uh, and Britain, UK. Uh, that's the day that that flag became legal, the 20th of March, 1834, and that flag then on became the flag of New Zealand, right till 1840, okay, and still is now, by default of the Queen abandoning ship in Admiralty terms. She's gone into the EU Parliament and has jeopardised or contradicted or compromised our contract with the New Zealand Court. So that's why I'm going to England to nominate. We're going to do that on, on the Marae when I go up to uh, Napoli with Jim week or two. We, we're going to proclaim and nominate King Ernest Augustus uh, V to the throne. That, that's going to come from there, from the chiefs, the partner to King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus V and the I, and King William III, okay, in that period of time. The bank notes uh, in the Bank of England Act, 1694, uh, King William III, and Patterson's bank uh, note, power note. Um, that's our legacy, uh, to use that instrument uh, to levy debt us. John Key and everyone who has committed crimes here in the Panama Papers, it's come up again. John Key, you're liable for those Panama Papers. We're going to investigate it. Sheriff's going to investigate it. And I'm not calling on any of the marshals here. The Maori U.S. marshals are not required. One of them asked me to do Cook Street. I said, no, I will do it myself without lawyers or without marshals or anybody. I'm using this hat. Eight point star of New World Order to do it. Okay? This hat will do it. And the shirt with these uh, King William on it. No one can talk for the King. It's too late. It's too late. It's already made public worldwide, international, and already set up in business, commercial business in England, London, the company's house, company's house. Uh, the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company is worldwide under the Maui. Uh, Crown, King William the Fourth, Federal State, Commercial, Commonwealth Government of the World. That's a government, dual government with us, the Chiefs, here in the Whakamunia. Okay, dual government straight, round the world, from there. But at the moment, it's 99% of the trust is run by Britain and the 1% left for Maoris. You see, on this 1875 part of that flag, that part of the Whakamenia Confederation, that's these documents here, these ones of uh, Mohi that one, right? They have to deal with the land here, not the land around the world. That's me to do that as the King's surrogate to go around all the rest of the country where the flag went. So these Whakamenia can't do that. Whakamenia here and the tribes here can't do that. It's none of their business. It's between here and England. There's a Matt Taylor of DLN in the commercial business, running this business there, that, that company. Right? And he's the leader of the Maui King William Party there. Ready to go to Westminster when the elections come up. We're, we're going straight in. Right? We're making notice to you, Matt, over there. Uh, we'll get the flag up when I come over. And hopefully I'll be there with Jamie as her being Patrick, surname, and the eight point star of St. Patrick. So that's why she's on the power note, okay? And me, being native uh, of the surname Wanoa, East Island, and Malai statue, and Raiate Island, Tahitian, with the Whakamini, Teo uh, mostly in Tainui, and, and uh, Ngāti Kahanui, Whakatohe, uh, uh, Makatua, uh, and Ngāsipro. They're all Tahitian. Right? They're all under the Maui memorial to the land. That's a land memorial in the British system of land titles. Okay? That's the Mana Whenua, not the Tangata Whenua. The Tangata Whenua uh, is in Te Ti Marae with Sunakora and all the rest of them with these documents. is over there. That's They deal with the land here. Okay. However they want to administer the land, the incorporations, I'm saying to the incorporations and the Mapiri, or Mapiri, uh, is in that field, right? They have the right to their land. As soon as we 
give Jonky notice in the, I'm saying all these things right out in the public in front of the bridge that when we go into Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court Jonky will be there on, on, on Waitangi Day 6th of February you see but soon the chorus says Waitangi Day is now going to be on the 8th you see what, what, what shifting things what's going on Jonky what, 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 why are you changing your mind about flags about about your business is going under. Hillary Clinton goes under, you're going under. Right? So Maui's got mysterious ways of dealing with matters spiritual. And that's what you haven't got. You've got no spirit. It's all about money and nothing else. So you'll come to demise when Clinton and all her lies and your lies is going to catch up with you. Right? The end time. So that's their corporate crown queen system versus the corporate crown king system okay everything straight king they put all that together not the pope the king put it together king william iii put this eight point star saint patrick's order in dublin into westminster right and booted out king james took over the throne now king ernest augustus v living in london he'll do the same thing we'll, we'll, we'll nominate him in to the throne to take that eight point star back and all the wealth in the world back to the people, the king's common people. Okay, you get that? Don't forget what I'm saying because it's real. You better start looking at what's happening to yourselves and how you got there. Who's authority? Ask yourself who's authority. Obama is a, 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 an acting commander in chief, or in other words, a commander mischief. And so, King Itaurua, at the moment, I put his name on those proclamation as the chief that I've always had the last 20 years with on that marae. He's seen it all, I've seen it all, right? I've never seen others there, but I'm saying he is in the military part of the Navy on that flag. No matter what anybody says, he's the oldest of that Rahiri tribe, the Rehia tribe at Kororareka, and the uh, now, Nazi Kawas tribe at, at Waitangi. Okay, so he's he he has his place in the military to go and talk with the navy and with the press with anybody. That's why he talks talks it up outside and wanders around with the television cameras because he's a like Trump showman that can say a thing or two. He's quite welcome to it because no one's going to stop him from doing it. He has every right to, to do what he's doing because he's the, the he's the uh, King Edward and Queen Victoria brother to that Victoria uh, Queen Victoria Trust, right? That's what I'm saying. I don't see anybody else's name around at the present time. He's the one that's standing right in front of me. So he has every right to that commerce and revenue that's been gathered inside the Queen's Bench Court for the King's Bench Court. Right? Check up on King's Bench Court and see if it's still alive. It's just muffled and silence, muzzle and silence. That's all. So we just pull the muzzle off and carry on talking. And it's live now, anyway. We've opened it up, ready for business around the world. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Number one, TPPA is a threat to these these countries, and also that. U.S. warship, nuclear warship coming here. It's got a trail of people watching where it goes and we're, we're, we've become a target. We've become a target because John Key is talking to that ship and Obama and it's weaponry and it's UN forces forcing Americans off their land. That's Obama and John Key and NATO and EU Parliament doing that to shut down Westminster and we're there to shut them down. Right? We're there to shut them out because they're only a de facto of Westminster. It was set up from Westminster. The EU Parliament was set up from Westminster. And the Queen did that with the Pope. Okay? For their own private business. Under Admiralty of the King. Okay? So that's all I want to say uh, right now. Uh, I just want to um, add to this video at least. These are statements I make on, on these videos. Uh, people are watching them 
take notice that what I say is down on history record of New Zealand and the native indigenous. That's the real term at that time, 1834. Native indigenous chiefs, not Maori. Okay, Maori, 19. 1945, when the Maoris went to war. You see, they created the word Maori and made the Maori Battalion and sent them off to war with that title, Maori Battalion. Right? And the Maori Battalion used the flag while they were on the Boer War. They recognized that flag as the flag of New Zealand. Okay? That was in 1945 from the throwback to 1834, right? The 1835 Declaration of Independence Day on the 28th of October, that's the day we just had, <coughs> was gazetted in Australia. So that title came through Australia and to Westminster. See, the long road there. In the meantime, the 1834 part of the flag, while it was being designed by the chiefs and sitting under a tree with weapons in their hands, ready to kill the Pākehā, and the British and the French and everybody else has landed on there. Okay? There was a big skirmish uh, with um, um, tribes before that flag was finally designed. At the same time, if you see the, the events, the line of events of what happened, it starts from 1820. So you go from 1820, uh, Chief Tera Waikato Wharahirehere, Manukau, from Waikato region of New Zealand, uh, in the middle of the North Island, right, more, more or less the, the middle of the North Island, in Cambridge, and Te Aumutu and all those places, uh, Putaru, uh, Tiro, and uh, uh, Morrinsville, all that area had this chief there, Tera Waikato. Now, the other chief, in th these were, they were all fighting at that time, but then they found they'd been overpowered by all the guns of the muskets from the British and the French shooting them out. So they had to do something. So they thought, right, we're going to see the king. And so, Hongi Heka, the chief from Ngāpui, and Te Waikato decided to go with one of the missionaries to England. So off they went. And there they learned how to speak English, how to write, how to do land transactions, how to uh, win wars with muskets, and how to make land turn into money in economic development and trade the British way. So the Maoris, or the, the, not the Maoris, the indigenous natives, chiefs, they had their own way of trading goods for goods, flax for guns, um, flax for timber for um, uh, um, goods from the British, like saws and axes and uh, pots and pans and um, uh, necessary things uh, for, for agriculture, uh, ploughs and things and wool bales and uh, presses and things. So that was the trade that they only could trade, like, not money with goods and women for sex, right? That, that, that was another one. They traded women, their women, to the white men for their skullduggery uh, uh, um, business on the ship. So they just sold them to women uh, for sex on the ship while they were in port, right? Uh, and, and so that racketeering went on in Russell in Kororareka. Most of the trade was there. It was a hub of the trade of, of all the uh, trading ships coming here. Uh, and so, um, with that, um, we're saying we're saying that um, uh, that 1834 period, when the land was being sold by the, the chiefs themselves in Napoli, all over the country, right? Wakefield and, and Fitzroy and all those guys were operating from New South Wales, Australia, without a sovereignty from Britain, from the King. 
and so the ship turns up straight from Britain, the Fortitude, off jumps the captain of the ship and says the land belongs to the king. And right that day, 20th March uh, 1834, this country became British, um, crown title to the king, queen. And so that's, at the time they were pulling out the design for the flag, they took the flag into the parliament there at Brussels, they set up a native court, the chiefs had a native court, James Busby put that together, he made everything in a legal sense, but he had no politicians or no authority from Britain. There he got the authority when the British ship pulled up. Nothing was written yet. And so that flag became legal right there. It was the flag of this country, New Zealand, right there. That, that's the one I'm talking about. The Whakamininga there, not the Whakamininga at Te Timarai. That came later when it got mixed up with the 1840 treaty. And that's where the fraud came in, converting the flag there. So that's what I'm saying here, is that um, all the uh, legacy that I, uh, I'm, I'm putting together comes from Court of Director. And that's where Jim steps in because he's always been there for that flag there. They always went up that hill and the, every year. And they kept up that vigil all this time and I give it to him for that. If I'm telling Willie Pater, uh, he was on the phone too, uh, that that's the message that he's only there for the flag raising. And the authority still comes from up at the eight tribes in Napoli in the northern region, tribes down to Hodaki and all that came onto the Marae Titi, right? And so that's that's the way Mohi Manikau says it. And that's the story I'm going by him. Because those titles when they British when Honi Hike back banged down the flag, start, they blew the British warships in the harbour, blew the whole place to bits and took their parliament and the native court into Auckland and set it up there at Kuri Marama. Uh, and that's where the Manukau title came in and took out all the titles up north and right through the country and reissued them as British titles. Those are the titles I'm holding in Auckland. Okay, you get that? That's why Mohi's given it to me, to say it that way. Because the Manukau's in the Waikato are different Manukau's to the Manukau's in Kaipara. The Manukau's in the Kaipara are known as the Rogans. Uh, the Rogans took over the courts. They were running the courts, John Rogan, in Helenville, with Mohi Manakau, live at the time. Right? There was two John um, Rogans from Australia, New South Wales. Uh, the same family, Rogans came here and married the Manakau's and married the Wanoos. Dick Rogan married uh, Ruraiti Wanoos, Ruraiti Wanoos, down Te Araro, Horoeda, East Cape. Okay? So those two formed the basis of why the British went straight for my family at the East Coast in Gisborne and set up the native court there, the uh, married native court, in, or the native court in Gisborne. And that, that's what John um, Rogan was going on with the titles in Auckland as native. The titles are there, native title, and he was a judge in the native court, one of them, at least in our family. Okay? That's why I'm sticking to that, and you can't go wrong with the Manukau title on Cook Street in Auckland and the whole of Auckland is a Manukau title uh, from the Manukau Land Company in Glasgow, Scotland under the British King William IV, Westminster Country. Okay, you got that? That's it. That's how it works. So, I better go on with my day and uh, write up some notes uh, that uh, I took of uh, Hoepa, if you have, but I, I didn't want to um, uh, keep on um, scribing for him when I'm trying to put things together in Britain where I'm going to. I'm carving a pathway straight to Britain from here and leave this behind for these lot to look up because I'm going to look after the whole world from Britain with the British military and government. Well, there's a dual government, um, Maui, uh, Crown, King William IV, uh, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World is us. Uh, as this eight point star, you will order. Okay? The Pope has no place in it. But King Ernest Augustus, uh, throw throwback line to King Ernest Augustus I, to 
James Augustus V today and today live monarch so real uh, back to James Augustus I the brother of King George IV and King William III and father King George III King of America there said enough you get it that's how it is so have a nice day I'll get on with my work and do all the notes Tuck them all up, or we'll have them, maybe up, and the Whakaminia. I'm just scribing for the Whakaminia now, uh, the 1834 one, where he comes from in Matari Bay, just up the road from Matari Bay in Tengari, that Whakaminia I'm talking about, where Horepa is on that Ngāti Vihia name, is the overriding title to this country, Captain J. R. Clinton. Esquire. Surrogate King William IV and surrogate myself, captain of the ship of Admiralty under the Chiefs Whakaminia. Okay, they got their own ship still in the wind coming to go sailing around the world with a flag flying. Oh, okay. Have a nice day.